Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you Thanksgiving morning here in Europe. I guess the first question we have to ask is, what are we thankful for? Uh, thankful for your trading seat. Thankful for the opportunity to take risk in this market. Trade professionally. Those are all professional thanks. But more importantly, are you thankful for your family? your friends, your children, um, I don't know, whatever you're thankful for, give thanks today, it's literally the best holiday on the American calendar, nothing else comes close to it, no bullshit presents, no bullshit religion, uh, just family and friends uh, at the table, eating, drinking, uh, having fun, maybe a little football in the backyard and some sports on in the background. <coughs> All things that privateer, uh, all things that privateer likes. Anyway, let's get to these markets here. Uh, U.S. rates 368. Let's take a look at this chart here. Um, you know, the low was 367.30, 16 November. We've been down to 360. We're at 368.9 right now. Keep in mind when this low was put in, dollar yen was surely, yeah. Dollar yen went to 137.60. Uh, Euro dollar went to 104.81. So this does have some potential to go a little bit higher. Um, so we're not quite really even thinking about fading any of this with the exception of cable. Um, the cable high that day was 120.28. We're now on 20.85. Looks like this is going to turn up here, actually, so I don't mind short cable. Um, we'll have to see. Um, actually, we don't have to see. I don't mind short cable here. Um, 121.04. 121.08 the high last night, 121.13 the high. Um, let's see how this looks today. Do we have any sterling releases out today? We got Ramston, he's a BOE guy, he's speaking 1045 Swiss time. And we also have Pill, uh, speaking 11.30. IFO today at 10 a.m. Uh, Swiss time. We got some business confidence stuff out in France. We got Turkish interest rate decisions. Uh, that's always fun to watch. Don't try and trade it. Trading dollar Turkey is, is um, really you have to be a professional, 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 professional and with tons of experience to be trading that shit. Um, but that'll be interesting, right? The consensus is for them to... Um, to cut 150 basis points this is currently 10 and a half percent they're expecting nine percent everyone else in the world is raising and our pals in turkey dr erdogan is cutting the bushes anyway let's let's look at the charts in more in depth uh this is the key metric here these rates were at the lows here the market is now fully predicting a fed pivot uh with that should be uh, equities higher, dollar lower. The dollar has a long way to go if this fully turns, right? I mean, euro dollar can go back to 112. Cable can go to 130. Um, you know, dollar Swiss doesn't have much more to go, right? Dollar Swiss can't go much lower. I mean, I guess it can, but um, what was the low in dollar Swiss? 93.56. Uh, dollar Swiss gets a bit woofy down here in the low 90s euro swiss sometimes turns and helps support it so if you're going to fade this uh i think sterling is your first fade uh, your second fade is dollar swiss euro could go anywhere um, and dollar yen could easily go back to 128 another thousand points in dollar yen if this really is um, some sort of big time pivot uh, which is not super clear right those minutes were, were not super clear there certainly is some big time inflation out there. Um, and if equities start going higher all of a sudden, uh, 
you know, who knows? Uh, but right now we're 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 there. The market is playing pivot. We're playing pivot, uh, and so let's just have a look, right? Um, the November fifteenth high in Aussie was sixty eight. So another forty points there. The low in dollar CAD was one thirty. 294 man dollar cad could go on easily another 100 points <clears throat> let's look at crude real quick there's some rumors that um the west was going to let russia sell its oil at a capped price of 70 bucks uh, it seems like a horseshit rumor to me um why why would the west do that you're basically just financing war with Putin, um, this makes no sense to me. I don't think um, I don't think this is true. So I do expect oil to go back higher. I'm not fading this move right now, but certainly uh, at 75, uh, we're going to be buyers of oil again. But anyway, Dollar Canada is maybe a little bit uh, slower to sell because oil has now come off uh, five bucks because of this rumor. We all know about Euro Dollar. Put in the 47 high, one, two, three hours in a row. It looks like there's an order at 50. That's fine. Someone's going to be sort of jobbing this. Probably buy this at 20 for another visit to 50. Um, keep in mind, liquidity is going to be very low this afternoon with New York. Um, New York not in today. EuroCAD not doing much. Like we said, we think this is the turn in um, in sterling. You could be short sterling here, I think. Gulp. Uh, Euro sterling. What the fuck was that yesterday, right? 87.01. 85.87. Back up to 32. I mean, on no sterling news. That was literally no sterling news. That was just the whole market getting stopped out. By the way, in, in cable, one of the reasons we don't mind going short is there are no shorts left. Everyone gets cut, carried out on a stretcher. We saw um, stops get triggered at 120.09. We saw them get triggered at 120.38. We saw the high print of 80 um, at the fix. Uh, drop back down to 20. Just to make it difficult for the guys who may have gotten long at 38. Um, but this is just basically all the CTAs are long term. Actually, probably macro guys getting stopped out in Sterling. Uh, so now there's no more shorts in Sterling. May even be a few longs. Uh, guys who bought this uh, through 119.08 yesterday. Um, we bought Sterling at 84 yesterday. Just at the open, actually, while I was on the video, uh, we did not hold that for the whole ride up. Uh, anyway, we did sell you some Euro Sterling. Anyway, let's not talk about what we did yesterday. Let's talk about what we're doing today. Dollar Yen uh, has been down to 55. Uh, this is probably going to be capped between figure and 20 on 139 today. Keep your eye on rates, but. There's no sense in trying to pick a bottom in dollar yen yet. Dollar Swiss is slightly different. I don't mind um, taking a sniff, maybe buying some low ones in dollar Swiss. We'll see. Kiwi seventy-five rate, seventy-five point rate, seventy-five point rate increase yesterday. Sixty-two, sixty-nine. This is getting a little stretched. Um, and here's the two hundred day, sixty-three oh three. Still a percent away. Aussie yen not doing much. Euro yen not doing much. Sterling yen. These crosses. Um, if you're if you're a fader, this is the stuff to fade because there's really it's really directionless stuff. So when it gets outsized left or right, it doesn't matter. Um, there's no trend in uh, any of this stuff right now. Euro Aussie. We talked about this level yesterday. One. Triple five, one four. Let's call it one fifty five fifty two. Not in play. Aussie beat Euro higher yesterday. Uh, almost bearish engulfing here. But again, these crosses are not in play. 
um, these are fade extremes this is a good fade down here 70 cents if you can get uh, CAD Swiss um, down at 70 cents that's a that's a good fade I think CAD yen this is oil I mean this is a technically an oil trade um, I'm not really loving it again these crosses are not really in play this is a dollar this is a dollar driven market um, and crypto not doing too much ethereum just stuck on 1200 matic sneaking back up to 90 cents even solana went a little bit higher um, crypto not doing much bounced around the bottom not much to say there here's our pal dydx that thing is freaking volatile 20 percent um anyway uh we're gonna try and uh be short sterling we may try and buy some dollar swiss if we get down towards 93.50 and we're also looking at this sterling swiss 70 cents that's what we got on uh on tap for today let's see how it goes german ifo uh is our first uh, point of point of contact today 10 a.m and then we have some sterling speakers to be aware of if you're fucking around in sterling 10:45 and 11:30 Swiss time, so 9:45, 10:30 UK time. We got BOE guys babbling around, uh, so be aware. All right, gotta go. Have a good one, guys. Uh, make some dough. Talk to you later. Ciao.